Eco-warriors Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have jetted home to California following a Canadian send-off. Harry was seen boarding the Bombardier Executjet charter plane he arrived on at 8.20am on Saturday morning at Vancouver International Airport, while Meghan was caught on another plane. Luggage was loaded on board at 8am and the plane took off for Santa Barbara just after 830 Let's not forget the cherry on top of this eco-unfriendly Sunday, their environmental hypocrisy. Despite the website preaching about their long-standing commitment to the planet, their actions scream the opposite. Megan, the ever-silent environmentalist, because she never really mentioned it, has she? And Harry, dubbed an environmental campaigner in his own bio, penned by Megan, no doubt, seem to think private jets the way to go. The duo have been on a three-day tour of Whistler and Vancouver to mark one year to go before the 2025 edition, which takes place in the ski resort. Rumour has it that Harry and Meghan have been left in panic and embarrassment as more than 500 veterans from around the world have announced that they won't take part in the Invictus Games in Canada next year, in protest of the Sussex's involvement and influence in the event. Earlier, the Invictus Games Vancouver Whistler 2025, presented by ATCO, is pleased to announce the appointment of Scott Moore as its new CEO to lead the delivery of the first ever winter hybrid Invictus Games. Taking place from February the 8th to the 16th, 2025, the seventh Invictus Games will bring together up to 550 competitors from up to 25 nations to British Columbia, Canada. However, the veterans who are wounded, injured or sick, service personnel and veterans, have refused to attend and have expressed their outrage and disappointment with Harry and Meghan's actions. Experts said that Invictus should dump Megan. The Whistler event was all Sussex zero about Invictus games and veterans. Dusseldorf was 80% Harry and Megan. Whistler was 100% Megan and Harry. Yep, only featured the Harkles. Didn't see or hear from even one Invictus athlete. As expected, Megan merged numerous outfits each day, but this time Harry joined her. He only once wore a top with an Invictus logo, the rest of the time was wearing or merching Eddie Bauer. Invictus is not the Harkles show. It's not a philanthropy for the purpose of making content to grow the Montecito couple's commercial dreams. Invictus was admirable charity, but is now on track to become a huge joke. The news comes after Lady C reported Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are in desperate straits and there's no prospect of a royal reconciliation. The royal biographer joined Nana Akua on GB News to discuss Harry's recent trip to Britain. The Duke flew across the pond to be by his father's side, following his cancer diagnosis. He's since spoken out on offering support to his family during its time of need, with reports suggesting Harry may be willing to muck in and undertake a royal role in his father's absence. But according to Lady C, this is the sign of a man who's in a desperate situation. Harry's offering to help, but it's hypocritical and it's phony, she said. The royal family wouldn't want him. He also knows from his own personal experience in the past that diaries are planned six months in advance, and therefore he's going to come over. What's he going to come over and do, and who's he going to meet and greet? Who's going to want to speak to him? The whole thing's a joke. Of course it's not true. Meghan and Harry are in desperate straits at the moment. They're looking at a very empty diary for the future.